Hey, um, Harry and Meghan, all the drama around that documentary. It's not surprising there's a poll out today, City Morning Herald Age Poll, uh, shifting sands a little bit with Australians and the Republic. Support the Republic has increased. It's certainly not a majority. It's gone from 36 to 39% of eligible voters over the four months since the Queen's death. Um, as I said, not a massive swing, uh, Lisa, but uh, I'm not surprised when they mm. wash their do dirty laundry out as they have. Yeah, and we're talking about them again. Look, it's only a, a blip, really, when you look at how many people are involved in, you know, their opinion on what the Republic, or whether we should be a Republic or not. But the good news is Harry and Meghan are not the future of the monarch. So you would have to have been living under a rock to not have, you know, been across the stories of, you know, Prince Harry and all of his, you know, whinging that has gone on for the, the past so many months and even the past year. But the good news is that we saw a, a, an increase in the number of people supporting uh, the idea of, of being part of the, the monarch, uh, supporting the monarch uh, in the the days after and the weeks after the Queen's death. And I would predict boldly that once we see the coronation, we'll also see another jump in that. So, yes, the Republicans might be, you know, rejoicing at this small increase now, but I think time will tell and I think, you know, most people will get behind uh, King Charles.